It's Black City! Sorry for checking the fucking camera like a maniac, but anyway, we are back with another motivational speak because I love doing these things. Uh, doing these things? Doing these things. <laughs> Thank you, I got English. Finally, I passed my class. But we have. It's motivational. And we're about to speak on failure and depression because those two topics are big as fuck. So we're going to speak about them. So the first thing I want to talk about is um, basically depression. And what that is, everybody has that shit. Everybody in the whole universe or the whole like human race or some shit, even animals dealt with that shit. Depression. That's when you, you're like sad as fuck and you're basically at your low, like lowest point in life. Depression. That shit really fucks everybody up, literally. Like, everybody will stop what they're doing and think about some bad shit. Now, I can't say the bad shit because I don't want YouTube to ban my ass because they hate when I talk, when they hate when people talk about the bad shit. I'm gonna give you a hint. It starts with an S, it ends with an E. It's really a big thing in life. <clears throat> but it falls down into, uh, it falls down into a uh, failure. And because it falls down to that, it really basically fucks shit up for people in life. So what failure does is that when you feel like you're failing, when you feel like you're failing and shit, you feel like you're useless. And when you feel like you're useless, you feel like you can't do anything. You can't do anything in life. You feel like you're stuck. You're basically stuck at one point where you think like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Um, like, what am I supposed to do? What is my goals? I can't reach them. I'm failing. I'm keeping failing too much. And because of that, because of that feeling, you turn depressed. So failure is kind of like a way to like go to depression if you like let it uh, control you. So one word that does help with failure and not feeling um, depressed about failure is determination. If, de if your determination is really, really, really up there, failure will not overtake you unless your determination is high as fuck because if it's high as fuck then you know if you fail then you be like oh i failed i guess i could try again or something like that because once you keep feel like if you fail if you fail if you feel like you fail then you you can you stop doing the things that you want to do and that falls into self discipline uh but that shit really is mind boggling because failure it's like it's like a big thing. I like I for instance experience failure. Like on YouTube, I feel like I'm failing on YouTube. I feel like I'm feeling like at school. I feel like I'm feeling at like basically everything. And but I ignore that feeling because I know that feeling is just gonna leave me into like a bad path in my life. So know when to know when to listen and know when to not listen to your feelings and not listen to your thoughts. So like when you have like a positive thought that's coming in your mind. Listen to that shit, but if you have a negative thought that comes into your mind, do not listen to that shit. Trust, if you listen to that shit, then like, it will consume you. But the negative thoughts is actually just spitting out some bullshit. Everybody knows it's spitting out some bullshit. Be like, you can't do this, you can't do that. It's like, a, it's, basically, it's basically like a hater. It's basically like a hater. When a hater tries, it's basically like a hater judging you. You be like, you can't do that shit. There's no way. Your hair is sloppy. You're, you're a mess. It's, like, it's basically a hater in your mind. It's basically, it's basically a hater in your mind. And the positive thoughts is actually a supporter in your mind. Say for instance, for example, a YouTube. You have haters that hate on your videos and comments down below, hey, your videos suck, fuck you and everything. And then you have a supporter be like, yo, this video was nice, yo, keep it up, man. I'm loving this shit every single day. Those are supporters. And like for like positive thoughts and negative thoughts, those are basically like positive is support and negative is haters. But the way to not like let it control you is by just knowing what to listen to, knowing what to listen to, know what to take action. And because of that, because if you like learn how to do that, then it'll be a breeze to you. Be like, oh, my positive thoughts is talking to me. It's telling me, it's telling me some good ass advice. I want to keep on going with that good ass advice. Instead of listening to my negativity, that's telling me bad shit and telling me to stop and shit. I'm not going to listen to that. So just always listen to the thoughts that you have, like the positive thoughts that you have in your head. And also listen to the people that like support you in real life. Listen to the people that say like good things and good things to do instead of like giving you hate or giving like a path of bad um, decision. But everybody look, look, I learned this, I learned this uh, from uh, reading some quotes. Like I read quotes like mostly every day. And I listen to like inspiration like videos and see like if I can come up with an idea or see what can help me because trust, you know, I go through these things. I do go through these things. You can't say like every human doesn't go through these things. They're gonna go through these things in path of life. 
they're gonna go through it. So for me, like there was one quote that said, like, um, when you when you create something, you think that it sucks because you're not you're not the part, you're not the yeah well you are the creator. So when you create something, you think your creation sucks. Because you don't have the type of vibe as others would if they didn't create it, but looked at your shit. So, say for instance, Drake made a song, right? And Drake uh, posted it. Uh, he said that he's that this song sucks, but um, others seem to like it. So the others that didn't create it liked his shit. But the one as a creator didn't like his shit. So don't like like everybody like goes through like feeling like. Their videos or whatever is shitty. Their art is shit shitty, but do not like do not let that do not let that feeling consume you. Do not let that feeling of failure consume you because what you think is a failure is what probably others think is a success or what or is good. So do not let do not let that overdrive you. Do not let that consume you. So just let that just let that flow in like a positive way instead of a negative way. So think that like think that when you thinking that um your videos suck, improve. Try to improve. Try to look at videos. Improve. Improving your shit. Uh, if you just don't, if you don't, if you just don't like try to improve or keep on consuming that feeling that um you're failing or that this shit sucks, then you're gonna think badly. And then once you think badly, then your then your videos that you're gonna try to post is gonna be really shitty because you're thinking that it's shitty. Like people say this. If you're thinking about something that's in, like a negative way, then it will turn out to be a negative way. Like so, if, say for instance, I made like a video and I had like bad thoughts, thinking that it's gonna suck, and thinking that like I like don't really want to make this video. So because I'm thinking that it's gonna suck, it's gonna suck. So I should say like, oh no, this video is the freaking bomb. This video is gonna like freaking explode. This video is gonna do that. Then the video is actually gonna do that. I know it's like some kind of type of bullshit cliche, but it's true. It's true. It's like once you once you have like a positive mindset that anything they, anything is possible. Once you have like a true positive mindset that anything is possible, failure would not overtake you if your determination is strong. Failure would not overtake you if you're if you have a positive mind all the time. Failure would not overtake you if you know that negative thoughts is gonna lead you to a bad place. Failure is not going to overtake you and lead you to a path of depression. Depression I know people go through like I know people like has like bipolar and everything. So I know like, I have a I have I have it too. I have it too. I have, I have bipolar anxiety. So I know how it feels like not to be like you can't like for bipolar and anxiety you can't really have a good like a good day. Cause that shit will ruin your shit each day, especially bipolar. It will shut you down, shut your mood down to the point of like we're really depressed. So you can't really control that shit. So, but you can, you can't, however, defend it. You can't ignore it. You can't do that. Even though like you're sad and shit, you can't ignore it. You can't do the things that you like c continue to uh, continue to do, even when you're like in like bipolar state or in like uh, anxiety. You can still do the things that you do. If, and of course, they do have like medicine for that or meds for that, like um to lower down your depression so you can feel great. But anything is possible, dog. In a world like this, anything is possible. But I hope I like made my point across on this. I don't, I don't really know, cause you know, uh, you know that I think my videos are shitty. But <laughs> but I'm still not gonna let that overtake me. You shouldn't. You shouldn't let anything that you do, anything that you're trying to do, or anything like your goals, and think that it's shitty or think that um. That you should stop on your goals. Do not stop on your goals. Keep on continuing. The path of failure. The failure is not. It's not a bad thing. Failure. Everybody goes through failure to reach at one point of success. Let's say for instance Michael Jordan. Um, everybody like thought he was shitty. Everybody like gave him shit, but he didn't listen. He didn't listen to the hate. He kept on striving through, making goals and shit. And freaking, he missed like a lot of. He missed like a lot of shots and shit. I read one quote about it. He missed a lot of shots. He missed a lot of freaking um, chances that he could have like won the game. But he said, "Failure, like failure, is my teacher." So failure gives it like failure feels like you're failing, but you're actually not. You're trying the best of your abilities, and also it shows improvement. So when you're feeling failure, you actually want to improve on what you're doing. But anyway, I hope that makes sense. This is Plexity. This is a little guys video. This is Plexity, if you like this video, smash, you already know. And this is Plexity in the mouth. Peace. Ah.